Yeah, Tetebar Island, just like any other islands in the Solomons, uh, headhunters live here. But somewhere 150 to 200 years ago, the people left the island of various reasons. All our resources, the marine resources and uh, uh, resources on land and air, it is still intact. So it is important to protect the resources because resources are going. People are harvesting resources everywhere and only Tetepare Island is left for us to protect. The Pari Island is, is a very important uh, island for, for our uh, descendants. Uh, this is where most of our resources are still intact. The island is virtually un undisturbed. Um, it, we are conceiving that for our future generations and um, it's a model anywhere for other communities because here in the Solomons uh, we have uh, our resources been been over exploited, yeah, and this is one of the uh, initiatives that we undertook. It's very important for our livelihoods. type of riches that we are doing now is um, trucker service and um, fish service. We've been doing it for a couple of days ago now. Like what we have now, we, we think that we should have more recess activities carried out on this island and uh, we'll be depend entirely on funding. Seagrass because seagrass is good for our cattle and they are the places where uh, our fish have to lay eggs and the small fish went to live in the seagrass, feed on the seagrass. And we have to, uh, they are important because they hold the dirty that came from rivers or streams. It's more growth in the protected area? Yes. And how did this compare to last year? We find more clams in the marine protected area than in the unprotected area. Female ones, they have some little uh, fingers like this, but uh -huh. too small. They, they grow here. Yeah. And they are, they are so some, they yeah, they are rich fingers. And on those hairs, the eggs were stuck. Twice a year we do the monitoring, but in our plans we have to do it quarterly a year. But then it depends on funding, so we do it uh, twice a year. Around this, uh, in the Solomon, in us, our country, Solomon Islands, uh, only a few islands they still have coconut crabs. And Tetepare is one of the few islands that. Uh, still have coconut crabs, but around all our provinces here in the country, the coconut crabs are on some islands you will never see coconut crabs. So Tetapara is the last chance for the coconut crabs? Yeah, and that's why we really um, have the idea to uh, conserve or to stop people to harvest coconut crabs. Uh, that was amazing. Um, you know, to know that there's these huge crabs in the jungle terrestrial crabs in the jungle that are worth a lot of money to Solomon Islanders and yet you know 250 Solomon dollars each for a big crab and yet there's people here who are you know, foregoing that income because they want to protect the crabs and protect their island. I think it's inspiring.
Okay, here on Chattapati, they have two main spirits. One is a woman spirit, her name is Orisogo, and the man spirit, his name is Kaluwesu. And out of these two main spirits, there are some spirits that they worship. And uh, one is Sak, yeah, they worship Sak here on Tetepare, and crocodile. So, uh, um, here on Tetepare, um, from before, the history tells that nobody was eaten by crocs and sacks until now. So we respect them, we don't want to disturb them. Yeah, we believe in spirit here on the island and we believe Tetepare Island is still alive. And the Tetepare Island can hear us, can help us make decisions for the island. And sometimes people come to see them and sometimes they show themselves to people. And uh, that's how people know that they are alive very op optimistic about the future of Tete Pare. We will still maintain this status, um, but with the help and continuous mentoring of, of our outside partners. One job I like the most is to go out to the community out there and educate them about conservation. I was the one who went out to the other islands to do awareness educate people about conservation and to accept conservation as the project of Tetebar Island. Thank you for recognizing us, thank you for hearing our cries and thank you for your help now. <laughs>